That belongs in a museum. Hey, he's actually gonna go ahead and yeah, just make a board himself. Pushes in with the uh, the Blood Hoof Brave and uses the slam to not draw. But now every Dirty Rat has a 50% chance. Ooh, Rosian burns a shield block. So a card he did not want to draw anyway. Yeah, he's more than happy because he didn't really want to use it anyways. And now B787 is using more of his Dirty Rat protection uh, with Doomsayer and Harrison only in the hand, which by the way, B787 didn't want to play Harrison because of the threat of weapon card draw. This is now what it's all been setting up to. Yeah, so that Ravager Ghoul that we thought was in the hand is the case here. Now Rotrum, uh, kind of unfortunate for him. The, the dirty, the dirty rat acolyte plan. Does he get it? Oh, he got oh, an acolyte! Is. Acolyte of Fade, look at B787's face. A second acolyte? Is he gonna get another one? No oh, way! Oh my god! And he's got Whirlwind, he's got Revenge, he's got Sleep with the Fishes to finish it all off. This is what he was setting up for all game. If this was his win condition he's been planning for, he was just going to get to the point that B787 had all of these in hand. Look at the clap from B787. He's like, all right, you got it, man. You did it. You laughed, Brian. You laughed at me when I was <laughs> talking about there's a chance for him to win this game. I mean, this is, and this is what, you know, when we got to this, the, the point where these acolytes were, yes. uh, were, were floating around the hand, you're saying this is how it could win. And this is exactly what he did. I love it. I, all, all the haters coming out of the woods right now, <laughs> show your faces. This is retribution. The Low thing is, it's, <laughs> Uh, Roja here is actually, he's hes not convinced that he's won. I think he, i think that that was actually getting up to six points of fatigue here. Now he's going to shield some again to ensure that it, it, it uh, hits fatigue and doesn't get brawled away, for instance. And there's still an execute remaining in his hand. Yeah, he, he actually kept sleep with the fishes, which is a little interesting considering that- He didn't want to damage his own minions, I feel like. Uh, yeah, but they would survive. Oh, oh no. Now, what a brave. <laughs> from, from B787, maybe that takes it down. Wait, but uh, now, because he didn't use Sleep with the Fishes and he used his blood to Icker, that Harrison Jones actually is- Her Harrison Jones and Blood of Brave could still win the game. What? Wait, no, <laughs> why did he use, why did he use a shield slam like this? I think he thinks that Sleep with the Fishes would have actually damaged the Acolyte. It would have, it would have prevented the draw like it's an execute, but it actually just deals three damage. Playing his own athlete? He's playing his athlete because he's so confident that he's able to get the draw that he needs to have this deal damage, and so he can use Sleep with the Fishes to kill Harrison, but Blood Hurt Brave introduces a roadblock to it. Oh my and god. Now, nine points of fatigue, but did he just throw away his one chance in this series, Brian? Oh my god. We, we, we got to such an incredible dramatic point. Both. Dirty Rats hit both Acolytes, and is Roshim still going to lose? He's behind in armor. He's way ahead in fatigue, but he's the one who's taking seven damage a turn from minions. Ten I don't, okay. fatigue. I don't know. He's, he's pretty far ahead in the fatigue, but well, this is going to come down to the wire. Now this is enraged. Now the slam puts it further into fatigue. There's no way. Now Roshim to accelerate his fatigue by ten every single turn. I, 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 don't, I don't think he can come back from no. this. I think throw, throw jump just through <laughs> the game. He I, just I, handed I on think, a silver platter to B787. Yeah, and, and we see his head in his hands there. I think he recognizes, yeah, he needed to use Sleep with the Fishes to get those uh, that damage on the Acolytes then, save the Shield Slam to deal with Harrison. That game was crazy. All he needed you're, to do was your like, your head is literally fish. in your hands for a minute. My my, <laughs> head, in your hands. my 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 vein in my temple is about to burst, Brian. I can't handle this. He had one he had one job. Play sleep with the fish and he didn't do it. He didn't do it. And I I am I am I'm mad. <laughs> I'm mad. He, you you but, don't go you, all the way to the top. You were rubbing in that, that you know, he was going to win. You don't make me you're, look you're like an idiot. You're going off. Oh, no, my I'm God, he wins, he wins. Now, he had no business being competitive at all in this best of five. Yeah, I, I, everyone was counting him out, and now Rosham, he is potentially one turn away from booking his ticket to the Bahamas. B787 has two lightning storms. If the lightning storms work out the way that it, it has to hit three on both, that's the key right here. For B seventy seven, can roll survive. spell power or draw the uh, draw a blood mage Thalnos. There's no blood mage Thalnos. He either has to double high roll or roll spell. You need to double high roll with the lightning storms to clear off the uh, the blood of brave and then attack into the Grimash with his uh, with his Aya. Is it spell power? No, it's not. not. He needs two threes. I mean, we see on the lightning a storm. from Mojum there. He he knew that this was big. He's at the finish line. 
B787 has to play both of these lightning storms. That only happens one out of every four times. Here's lightning storm number one. Two oh! already! It's only a two, which means that he can't deal with it. And I, I can't believe what I'm seeing here, Brian. But he is actually at 14. There's 13 damage represented. There's not lethal just yet. He was you're able right, to clear up right. enough threats. And he has Jinyu Water Speaker. one more damage can end the game. What in his deck can actually generate that damage? He has another weapon. Oh, boy. <laughs> this, is, this is actually not quite over. You know, it is, it is uh, enough damage to remove everything. You're right. So he can put him down to one if he wants. He could also attack into the 4-4 and play that Whirlwind, clear off the board, leave just Grom alive. Leave just Grom alive, but he knows that Grom is pretty much easy to kill from this point on. There's a lot of things that can deal with it. And uh, B787 has Alec here, and he also has what? the no. Jinyu Water Speaker. Revenge, execute, to just try to maximize his resources. I like it, you have two executes in the hand. But is that enough for Rojum? One damage off. One damage has never felt so big. Oh, and there's the Jade Lightning and the Jinyu Water Speaker. He's getting out, back out of range. Well, he, he's uh, he's overloaded. So he had double Lightning Storm, so he can't play the Jinyu Water Speaker oh, right, right now. You're totally right. Oh, but he oh, didn't attack. attack. He, the war axe. he didn't attack the previous turn. He had attacked. Oh no, Alec here is coming out too. Oh my God, Rojum. No, if not he like had this. attacked with King's Defender last turn, that Fire War Axe is lethal. Not like this. <laughs> we just, we saw the look in his face when he picked that up. <laughs> this is I mean, amazing we, we were TV, talking Brian. about We were talking about what his outs were. What could do that one more damage? The answer was Fire War Axe. He drew it, but he did not attack last turn. I think that is literally the only other damage source in his deck was another weapon. Unless he was able to get something else miraculously out of him, his opponent, but he had Bash. And now he still has he still has it out. He still has outs with Bash. And now Dirty Rat brings out Alec here. Well, he, he hasn't attacked. He, that, now there's a taunt in the way. Well, what he, what he, oh, you're right. And then Jin Yuara Speaker is going to come out the other turn. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Rojum once was, again. Was so close. How many it times? Was in his hands. Are and you going to do this, Rojum? Heal. There's bloodlust. There's so much damage. A Alec here, bloodlust? There's no brawls. There's, there's no sleep with the fishes left. You're right, he stays alive. Execute's gonna come down though, and, and that healing totem was also really important too, to heal outside the range, so Whirlwind can't reach it. Uh, B77 has another taunt to get into the way. What, in what world can Rojum be able to cut, turn this around here? He has to pick up another way to-, in, to the, in the world where he attacked with King's Defender. From this point on, okay, Shield Slam helps him stay alive. Right now he's got Execute, Shield Slam, Fiery War Axe to get through stuff here. Yeah, he can he can that take out he can take out the two taunts, but now it, he's the one fighting to play to stay alive. He doesn't have outs for lethal. Grom's gone. He has he has no burst damage. He has frankly no real threats remaining in his deck at this point. And you can see the the coming concluding turns here in this game. We're gonna find out what ends up happening. I mean, I think if I'm Rojum, I'm going face. What are you hoping to draw? He has he has two bashes he's, in his deck. If, if he doesn't get a taunt totem and he doesn't die, he maybe has a chance, but Bloodlust is right now 12 damage on top of the eight. Oh, there's a taunt totem too. <laughs> the outs are getting slimmer and slimmer. He needs another, he needs a revenge here. A revenge or a, 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 a Ravaging Cool to stay alive. Ally Armor Armorsmith, Smith. That, I think that helps him stay alive perhaps? It soaks up effectively nine damage because it takes seven and gains him two life. But this is not about just no. staying alive. That, that, he doesn't that it? play it. I think that's it. And B787, he was the massive favor coming in, and by the skin of his teeth, gets Biologium to book his ticket to the Bahamas. Congratulations to B787, being able to do what we all thought he was going to do from the <laughs> very beginning. Boy, did he make it dramatic. That, that was far more exciting of a match than I thought we were gonna get coming in. That was, that was crazy. I'm exhausted. Can I go home? <laughs> I mean, go take a nap in the green room I, after this. But yeah, I, I, am, I am, I'm emotionally drained. I can't even I was just like, oh that. my God, is Rojum gonna do it? And Rojum- And he was so close. He, he, he had it. He had two games where he should have won. This series was a 1-4 victory for B787. Uh, that it, is my summary of this best of five. And yeah, I mean, the, 
the, the choice not to attack with the King's Defender, you have to be thinking, what, what, do I, what has to happen for me to win this game? Right. You know, what has to happen for me to, to be able to you know, come back to my...